If you clicked on this, then you probably need help installing one of my Civilization mod packs or just general help with how to get things started. Basically, to get come to these events, the IP will be given when the event actually begins and you just show up, at least for now, unless I, you know, decide to for some reason open up applications. It's probably not the case, but you'll also be receiving an announcement with a file that's kind of similar to this, right? Uh, so for this example, it's going to be for the Underwater Civilization mod pack for 1.16.5 Forge. I haven't done a modded Civilization event yet, so I'm not really sure if this is a good idea, but we're basically just winging it from here. Go ahead and open up that file and you'll notice that there's two things in here. One is called the Forge Installer and the other is called the Mods, right? So the Mods are obviously the modifications to the game that we actually, you know, want to implement. While the Installer is kind of the thing that runs it all. So I think the first step before anything at all is to open up your Minecraft. There's a very important reason why. The gist of it is you're going to want to run Minecraft 1.16.5. And don't worry if you don't even know how to get to that. Go ahead and click installations. And then within installations, go ahead and click on this new installations tab. In here, you'll notice that you can, you know, basically edit a couple things. You can name it whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. Go ahead and click on the versions and then type in 1.16.5 and you'll notice I have a couple extra ones but you'll probably find yourself at the release 1.16.5. That's what you need to click. Then go ahead and press create. But I've already created one, right? So you guys go ahead and press create. Then once you press create, you'll notice that, you know, that for some reason this is the thing I decided to name it. Um, go ahead and click that. Boom. As you can see, it says 1.16.5. Make sure that's the exact version that you're playing unless the mod pack that you're trying to install that's announced by me is of a different version as you can see here for this example we're using 1.16.5 but this is universal you know end of the day the forge that you really need is going to be in here uh, to any of the announcements or the mod packs that I make in the future so keep that in mind while this is all running while this is all doing its thing you're going to need to bring yourself to this thing called the minecraft directory how do you get there uh, basically, just go ahead and click the Windows key at the bottom right, then type in R U N run, right? Go ahead and click that, then you'll be given this prompt. It's probably going to be blank. All you got to do is type percent app data percent. Once you type that in, press OK, and it will lead you into your Minecraft directory, right? As you can see here, it says Minecraft. Go ahead and get, give that a double click. And for me, I will be having a lot of folders in here. The reason being is because I mess with a lot of mods. But for you, it'll be a little more simple. But the one thing you'll notice that is different is that I, you don't have a mods folder, right? Chances are you don't have a mods folder. If you do, good, you're a step ahead. But if you don't, don't even sweat it. Once Minecraft 1.16.5 loads up, go ahead and click game. Then, after you've done that, go ahead, grab the installer, and export it out of the WinRAR file, right? We don't want to run it in the WinRAR file because if you double click it in the WinRAR file, as you can see, it kind of just opens up the jar file, which is not what we want to do. It's a program and we want to run the program with Java. So once you got that on your desktop, go ahead, double click it or wherever you saved it to. And then it'll come up with the mod system installer. As you can see, it's already set to install client. Just make sure it's on that install client and make sure it's in your Minecraft directory. As you can see, it basically matches up. It goes right into my .minecraft folder and that's exactly where we need it. Go ahead and press OK let it do its thing you know you don't have to touch it it'll do what it's meant to do and once it is finished it'll give you a little bit of a prompt that says like it's been successfully installed yep here it is successfully installed client profile forge for version 1.16.5 forge into launcher make sure it says this because if it gives you an error then there's a problem with the installation process and you should probably go on youtube and search up how to install forge for whatever version you're trying to install but in this case and hopefully your case as well you have successfully installed it into your launcher. So go ahead, press OK, and we're basically done with the Forge portion of things. I usually just delete it right afterwards because I, I don't need it. You know, it's just gone. That's it. That's taken care of. But you'll also notice in your Minecraft directory that you probably still don't have a mods folder. There's a reason for that. So if I go ahead and open up my mods folder, you'll see it's still empty. There's nothing in it besides folders, and that doesn't really count. Go ahead and launch up your Minecraft again, and you might notice that in the bottom left corner, it'll say Forge. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. Go ahead and click the bottom left little category. Scroll down through all the installations that you do have, and you'll probably notice that you have a Forge 1.16.5.
just in case you don't, you can always just go into installations, click whatever version, and search up the version. So obviously 1.6.5 or 1.16.5, you'll see that Forge is some of the first options that I do get. But I already have it here, so I'm just going to go ahead and press play. Let that do its thing, and this should hopefully make you a mods folder within your .minecraft, just in case you don't already have it. But again, if you do, you can already, you know, you're past this stuff. So wait for that to load itself up. Remember, just let it do its thing. Don't touch it. From my experience, touching it makes it even worse. Just let it do its thing. But yeah, as you can see, it says two mods loaded, but if you click mods, there really isn't any mods loaded. It's just Minecraft and Forge. Uh, that's completely fine. That's that's all you gotta do for this bit. Uh, just press quit game. Uh, this is the important part. Go ahead, again, in your Minecraft directory, look for your mods folder. Once you find it, go ahead and open it. It should be empty. This, everything I just highlighted shouldn't be there. Uh, it should just be empty, but if there is something in there, go ahead and delete everything in there. What I like to do is I like to make this folder called the old mod packs folder. So anything I have in here that I don't need, I just stuff it in there, right? Whether it's a mod, whether it's a folder, I just stuff everything in one folder and just call it old mod packs or old mods and call it a day. But again, I highly recommend just deleting everything. It just makes things simpler. But once you got around to doing that, go ahead and in the WinRAR, in the file that you downloaded from the announcement, go ahead and click the mods. Here, you should see the entire mods list. Go ahead and highlight everything. If you need a shortcut for it, what you can do is click one of the mods, do control, like hold it, hold control, and then press A. Right? Once you do that, it selects everything in here. Go ahead and drag that into your folder, aka your mods folder, and let it do its little transfer. Once that's done, you are basically good to go. Everything should be working smoothly. Go ahead and launch up your Minecraft. Now, just in case, I'm assuming you guys know how much RAM you have on your computers, but if not, that's completely okay. You could do a little bit of testing. You could probably search up how to see how much RAM you have on your computer on Google, and it'll tell you exactly how to. But once you figure that out, a lot of people tend to have an issue with loading mods, and it tends to be the RAM. So as you can see, I'm launching 1.16.5 Forge, but if I go ahead and click the installations and check under here, under the more options category, you'll notice that I have this little thing that's basically telling it I want to run 10 gigs of RAM in case it needs it. That's basically what this thing is. But for you guys, it might look a little bit more like this, right? It might look like this, whatever numbers on it. What I like doing is everything in front of the negative XMX number G, I just delete. I get rid of it, okay? That's what I do. And then this little bit, what it basically means is it's telling it to use two gigabytes, that's what the G stands for, of RAM. I like to wrap it up to 10. I personally have like 32 gigs of RAM, so I have a lot to spare. But you realistically probably have around like 8 or 16. So really just mess around with this number. If you're having issues, just ramp it up by like 1 or 2 gigs. See how it runs, see how it performs, and hopefully it fixes your issue. If you have any other issues beyond this, there's a place you can go called create a ticket on the Discord server. This is under the information category, and basically here you can just ask for help if you really needed it. I highly recommend doing this before the event actually starts. That way I can actually help you out, and preferably a day before, because on the day there's a lot of like hectic stuff. We gotta make sure the server's running good, we gotta set up the announcements, you know, there's a lot of hectic stuff that goes on during the days of the event. So please message using this ticket system if you do need some help beyond this tutorial message there before a day before the event tops because if it's on the day of the event chances are you're going to get ignored until the next day because after the events i get pretty tired as well unless one of my staff members are free but yeah you should be good to go though from here on out you should just be able to press play on the forge and let's see you'll know it's working when in the bottom left it tells you that there is a bunch of mods installed that's basically how you know it's working and I'll show you that. Just uh, wait for it to load up. Just gonna go ahead, hide the icons. Yeah, just let it do its thing. 
you could also probably see at the bottom left here also if you did the the gigabyte thing right so I put 10 gigs it says 9102 that's just the megabyte equivalent of that so that's kinda that's kinda the thing there but it's basically 10 gigs of RAM being put into this but obviously Minecraft doesn't instantly use 10 gigs it just kinda goes up and down but soon enough it should just load up and we'll be good to go and there you go as you can see here 20 mods loaded you can also check the little mods list uh, you know over here and make sure like hey do these mods match up it doesn't have to be perfect if there's like a weird number it's probably some cores or something that like counts as multiple mods don't worry about it then all you gotta do is simply wait for the day of the event and once the day of the event hits we'll be releasing the IP and you just gotta join that that's it hope you enjoyed me winging basically a tutorial but yeah I hoped it helped